Oh, wow, look, there's a fox. See, this is how big this area is and uh, uh, there's no kids. That's why there's foxes running all around. Alex, welcome back to our second episode of our most luxurious homes in Toronto and the neighborhoods. We're gonna go through them. Quickly, I'll give you a description of the neighborhoods and what they stand, how much is per square foot, front linear foot, how much homes are going for, and you'll have some idea of what these neighborhoods are all about. We're starting with Lawrence Park today from high demand from Lawrence Park. Well, he had the demand. Somebody on the, in the comments put, can you do Lawrence Parks? And we're doing it for you guys. Lawrence Park is one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's uh, very central. It's, you got the hospitals, the best schooling, beautiful homes. They're all, the lots are 50 plus by 135, 150, usually 150 depth on it. So you can do a lot with the lots and you have beautiful homes. They're all classic homes there are a few modern ones that are popping out here and there but uh, very good neighborhood lawrence park you have sunnybrook on one side of it at sunnybrook hospitals which is one of the greatest hospitals for cancer researches and everything north york general is close by but it's uh, it's it's not lawrence park it's close by schooling you have the best public schools first of all all of them rank top in toronto so for schools you, you have uh Bedford Park, you have Blight, Blightwood, and uh, one of the best high schools in Toronto, Lawrence Park Collegiate. As for uh, private schools, you have the accessibility to all the good schools because it's right in between. You go up Bayview, you have Crescent, you have TFS, which is the Toronto French School. Um, uh, on the other side, from Young Street, you go, you have St. Clements, you have uh, Havergal, you have uh, Easy access to UCC if you want to, because there's a lot of side streets that are connected to there without having to go through the traffic. Parents love it. The main thing is accessibility to highway as well. You're very close to 401 and 404, 400. It's all very central. So, and big lots and big trees, big set, good setting. There's so many parks that you can walk from here through the parks and get to downtown even if you wanted to. There's great trails, great houses. They're very unique. The, ho- the streets are actually not connecting streets, meaning from Bayview to Young Street, they don't go straight. So it all turns, it's all, uh, it's all in zigzags, I call them. But they, they don't connect directly. Therefore, the traffic doesn't, they don't cut through traffic. People don't cut through traffic to go through these streets, side streets here. So local traffic, so on the streets, you see people playing hockey or on the driveway playing basketball. So you, you can see everything. So it's a very calm, relaxed neighborhood, family oriented. Land prices today, they start from four and a half plus. That's uh, about 90, 80 to $90 per square foot. Uh, front linear foot, I mean, sorry. Finished products, depending on what kind of product you have. The last two that sold on Dollish, they were $10.5 million and up. But average for older home, you're going from eight plus. Overall, Lawrence Park is one of my favorite neighborhoods, as I said, it's, it ranks for me top five. It's, it's got beautiful setting. If I had to choose, it would be one of my top five desirable neighborhoods to live in. Okay, Alex, so now we are in the St. Andrews neighborhood. As I said uh, previously, as you come north, the neighborhoods get bigger, the lots get bigger, and this is where St. Andrews is. All of them are, like, I'm the best part of it. So the lots are 180, 90 frontage by uh, 200, 300, some of them. It's just north of Bridal Path and the lots are big. As you can see, these houses, they're all, most of them are gated and they're very big houses. I love the neighborhood. They have the castle look houses at a lower price than Bridal Path, but it's not like Lawrence Park, uh, Lytton Park, Rosedale, where the the older neighborhoods, that the neighborhoods are smaller, the, the houses are closer to each other and the kids can go on the street and play whatever they want to do in there. It's 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 more, every house is their, its own castle. It's more like Bridal Path. And if you haven't seen our first episode, which I explained Bridal Path, you can click on the link above and you can watch it. Don't forget guys, I need you to tell all your friends to subscribe to my link and like every video. You don't have to like if you don't like it, but really what's not to like. Like the videos, subscribe, and tell all your friends again.
now back to St. Andrews. Lots here, they, they are bigger. You're getting more for your money. So the price per linear foot, as I was explaining in the other ones, is cheaper. So, so over here, you can get 50,000 per linear foot for the lot. And then for end product, you're looking about 80 to $100,000. Uh, for older home, when they finished, depending, like we have $30 million homes here. We have $20 million homes here, depending how they're finished, because they have the land, they can build the castles or they can build a normal home. So in this area, homes, they, the homes, the oldest ones were built in the 1960s unlike Rosedale, uh, which was built over 100 years ago. Most of these bungalows that were old, they're still livable. This area actually was redeveloped in the night in the 80s. 80s, they built all these big houses. So those big houses, a lot of people are buying them, renovating them and living in there still. In the 80s, when there was the big boom back then, a lot of people bought, bought the vacant lands and they, re uh, they built the houses there. In the last 10 years, it wasn't touched. Actually, this area was did not have too much activity in it. One or two people built for themselves, not spec houses. People that wanted a big house, they bought the old bungalows and they built it for themselves. But now again, it's starting. As you can see, while we're driving, there's a lot of construction going on. People are building it. But these things, these houses, builders don't buy them to build spec homes because since they are too big, there's, it takes too much money to invest in it. And sometimes it's not worth it for the turnaround time. The older area of St. Andrews has 50 foot lots, 60 foot lots. Those ones, they do get built on spec and resold. Otherwise, people that want a big house, they buy it or they, they live in King City or up north and they want to come to the city. They buy the big lots like a cottage land or like a half an acre, acre land here and they build their own castle. They used to build up north. They build it down here now. Overall, Great neighborhood, big houses, beautiful houses. One of my top choices if I wanted to be have an exclusive life. Like, I mean, no neighbors. I don't want to hear anybody. I don't want to see anybody. I just want to be in my castle. This would be the great neighborhood for it. It's right north of Bridal Path and Lawrence Park. It's very easier access, actually, to 401. Again, easy access to the schools. Great schools here as well. You have Harrison, you have Denlo, you have uh, York Miss Collegiate, which is a great school as well. So that's it for uh, St. Andrews overall. Great neighborhood. We're having, we're having a very busy week next week. We're gonna have a few more videos coming out. It might not be the neighborhoods, but we have a few listings that you will see the videos you have to subscribe as i said to see all the videos uh you get the notification to see the videos make sure you subscribe watch our videos and uh, buy our houses 416-710-1010 or you comment and we'll reply to you you can also go to our website www.ireza.ca we're everywhere just follow us and anything and you'll have more information about the market